Hello guys, welcome and welcome and welcome to my channel. If you are meeting me for the first time, my good name is Sabina and you are so much welcome. So today I am so happy that immediately after this video, I'm going to be preparing myself and traveling to meet with my family so that you can celebrate Christmas together and I am so so excited so please if you have not subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe so that you can see more of my videos in relation to Christmas and in relation to my uh, country uh, or rather my village life in today's video without wasting much time as you can see down below I'm going to be showing you how to make a, a full setup of a desktop how to connect your CPU to your monitor. For example, if you do not know which cable is supposed to go where when it comes to setting up your desktop, then that is where I'm here for you today. So you sit down, relax, and enjoy watching this video. I'm going to be showing you the things that we are going to be using one by one. They are all here on a different table. Let me bring them here. So this is the screen or rather the monitor that we are going to be connecting it's a Lenovo company you can see I've already removed all the cables there is no cable attached to this one as that now the second thing that I'm having of course is the CPU like this is the like the brain this is like everything the motherboard that whatever hard disk everything is here so actually let me place here if you have this and you don't have this like there is no computer like this is everything the function of this one depends on this one so whatever is displayed here comes from here i'm sure some people do not know that so just know like this is like an empty sack this is like an empty bottle without being fed information from this one then this one is useless right but it is also important because we cannot have this without this the other thing of course we do have a keyboard and it is already attached to its cable and here we have the mouse let me place it there here we have several cables the first cable is this one so let me place this one over here down so this is the first cable then if you see this cable and most times actually the color code is usually like the same I'm not sure if there is different color, I don't know, you can comment down below, but most CPUs that I've come across, they do have this color. Without wasting much time, the purpose of this cable, if you see this cable and you want to set up your computer, just know that this is a cable that is used to transfer data or rather to transfer information from the CPU to the monitor. So this is the one that acts like a pathway to convey message or transfer data. From this point, which is the CPU, to this one, right? This cable over here is the power cable for the monitor. So this will power the monitor, right? And this is the power cable for the CPU. So the other thing that I have with me is this. So this is a, a router. There are so many types of router, and this is actually like not a compulsory thing, but if you the nature of your work or whatever you're using your computer for requires you to have an internet then you must, then you must have a, a, a source of where you're getting your internet from in my case this is the router so this is where my, my i usually get my wi-fi from it has it is called it has a cable the power cable is here and it also has this cable this is called the LAN cable L A N in full that is local area network. So this is what is used. Actually, you can detach from here. Oh. Okay. Are we safe? I hope so. <sighs> yeah. So this is the LAN wire which is used to transfer internet from this. And this will fix it actually. So this it just loosened after falling down. I hope it is still functioning for that. So this one, you see this hook over here, then you hook it in here. It has an allowance for three of them. So and then uh, this part here is connected to the CPU in order to transfer the internet. I'll be showing you in a bit how to go. It. I've shown you all the hardware and actually when you talk about hardware, when 
it comes to computers, is like these are the hardware, the, the things that you can touch in a computer or in a desktop. This is the hardware. So I have removed the cables from here so that I can get the space to connect them one by one. First of all, I want to connect the power cables, eh? and I'm going to use this mini extension. This is what I'm going. This is what I'm going to plug into the wall over here. There is the socket, the main socket attached to the wall. This is where I'm getting my main power from. And this is the mini socket, or rather mini extension that I'm going to be using. It has an allowance for three power cables. Then the only, there is this one that is already fixed here. It is for my something else over there. I've tried moving it then and uh, ah, it's giving me stress for no good reason. So I'm going to stay there. This mini socket, I'm going to plug this one inside and put on the power. I'm going to start with the power cable for the CPU. This is for the CPU and I'm going to of course connect it from the socket of the wall from this side. Let me do that. Okay. The other one that I want to put is for the this is for the monitor. Okay. I put it here. So once I put in the socket and just put this button on. Okay. So in the meantime, I plug it onto the wall. Let me turn it around so that you can see. So this is the back side of the CPU and this power cable goes here. So if you see this power cable looking like this, then just know that it's supposed to enter here. I don't know if you can be able to see. Let me bring it in on that. So, this is the CPU. We are supposed to put this cable over here. And that's it. The monitor is like this. So, I have to turn it like this. But of course, when you're working on a table, you don't have to struggle. I have to keep raising it because I want you people to see what I'm doing. So, you see, down here, I don't know if you can see here. Inside there, there is the space over here that this one is supposed, this one is supposed to get into. That's all I put there. So, both the monitor and the CPU are now power connected, but I've not yet put on. The next thing that I want to do now is to link, is to link the CPU and the monitor together. So, you already see this. This comes here. You see, even the color will tell you. So this one we shall put it inside over here. Okay, let's do it. So you, you press in and there is this like screw kind of thing. So you just keep scrolling inside so that it doesn't fall off. So that it doesn't fall off. And that's it. So you can see it's not attached. And we do the same here. So down here there is a similar kind of port. So, we shall fix it here. The same way. Okay. There we go. There we go. Yes. And that's it. So now, at this point, they are now connected to the power and also they are now linked to each other. So when we put on the, the CPU and we put on this, whatever we are doing here will be able to be transferred and uh, reflected and seen from here. Let me fix the keyboard and the mouse. This is the keyboard. So let me put it here. We shall, we shall arrange once we have finished fixing everything. I've put like this for purposes of showing you. Showing you. So you see this is like a USB cable. We have a USB port over here. So usually we have on the front side, we do have also the back side, we do have ports. What you have to note is both the keyboard and the mouse are going to be attached to the CPU and not the monitor. Because whatever will be controlled or whatever will be typed by the keyboard is coming from the CPU. As I've told you, this is the brain. This is everything. Everything is coming from here. Without this one, this one will not show anything. So actually, because we do have similar USB cables on the front side, which I'm going to be showing you now, 
Let me just turn the LED to face to face the camera correctly. Yes, and these are the ports that I'm talking telling you. So you can put a keyboard over here and our mouse. Do not mind my screen. I know it is not well wiped out. Let that not bother you. I place the keyboard over there and then I connect here. Put the mouse over here. Okay. And we are ready to go. Okay. But before I put on the computer, let me just advise someone. I usually prefer this tool to be put on the back side so that you don't have to interfere with many cables on your desk when you're working. It also makes your desk to look neat. So, oh, so I prefer you use the back ports or rather the, yes, the back uh, side to fix this other than the front side. Also, the other advantage is that if you leave these ones empty over here, then uh, you'll be able if you want to charge your mobile phone or you want to transfer some data using an, an external, like a flash disk, you can always use these ones. So, for the purpose of this, for just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be, be putting this part. So let me put on the power and see if they're going to get connected to work. So, the power is on from the main socket. Now I want to put on the CPU and this is the button that I use in case you didn't know. So for this particular type of CPU, you use this button to put on. Voila, and there you go. This one, an indication that it's now getting on. And now let us put on the monitor. And for this particular type of monitor, I use a button that is down here to put on. So I just press in and you see it's already on. So before we continue, uh, a disclaimer uh, or a point to note this is not a normal line okay it's because the screen has broken but anyway it is serving me the purpose that i want so i don't have to replace or rather waste money replacing i'm going to be using it as it is until i feel that i now need to replace or until it cannot function anymore so you can see our computer is already on so we want i want us to test to test so you can see, I don't know if you can see the cursor is only moving. This is the, uh, this is the mouse. And this is the cursor. Where is it? Yeah, and this is the cursor. So our mouse is functioning very well, well. Let me see if our keyboard is also functioning. I don't know if you can see. We are going to try and type something. Let me just come here. Uh -huh. Let me just come here and pretend that I'm searching for something and I'm typing. So, wala, 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 wala. you see, we are typing this still. Also coming up here. So, you see, yes, our keyboard that everything is working and ready to go. There are also different types of keyboards that can be said to go wireless. By wireless, I mean you can also have a keyboard that does not have necessarily this keyboard. keyboard. So, like, uh, let me show you. Yes, like you see, this particular keyboard is a wireless keyboard. So you can decide to go wireless and avoid all these kind of cables and go for a wireless, go for a wireless keyboard or a wireless mouse. This one needs to have some uh, batteries. You just put here, you see here, and another one here. There usually two, and you can be able to work. But again, you will need something called USB adapter. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. Correct me in this comment section. And now that USB adapter, you you insert somewhere like here or behind to be able to get the signals from here, since it is wireless, from here to the CPU and all that. Okay. So, so the next thing, if you want to connect your internet, I told you this is the LAN wire. This is the LAN wire. So you connect there, and this particular port you come and connect it from now. There is a similar port that looks like this from behind. Because of time, guys, I'm not going to be turning it around to show you, but I hope you understand. So, there is a place here that you, you, you will connect, okay? And you will be able to use internet from here to your machine and use internet either at the comfort of your home or at your office and all that. You can also avoid to use the cable and go the Bluetooth way. Like, this one has a, a Bluetooth way, like, you switch on the Bluetooth here and the Bluetooth on here and then... They just uh, connect to each other 
without having to use cables. So guys, that has been it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope that this video was helpful to someone out there. And if you like this video, kindly give it a like subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye bye and do have yourself a good time. Have a Merry Christmas and I love you.